All right, fam, it's me, JPB here. And tonight, I'm gonna show you, tonight I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious, I'm gonna make a delicious cup of hot cocoa using some of my own ingredients. Well, some store-bought ingredients, but it's a good cup of cocoa. I've got some good products to show you. All right, here we go. So first off, this is really good cocoa powder. It's Caltina. It is Swiss. Very high quality. And uh, here we have Hershey's cocoa. Um, Hershey's cocoa. Now, and then we also have some sugar. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the two cocoa powders, mix a little sugar in, um, use one tablespoon of the Caltina, one of the Hershey's, one tablespoon of sugar, uh, and then just a pinch of salt and like a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Here we go. So as you can see, there's this, there's an empty bowl here and I'm going to put all the ingredients in here, mix it together. All right, here we go. All right, fam, let's do this. Yes. All righty. Now, the Hershey's cocoa is very dry. Like, it's, it's practically sand. It's so dry that when, it's, when it sticks to your hands, it, it feels like sandpaper. It's very dry. I mean, you are like, duh should be dry because it's like, it's powder, but when I say it's dry, it's very dry. All right, now I'm mixing it all together in the bowl. All righty. Mixing the sugar and all the powder together. All righty. <clears throat> I just need a little bit of salt. Hold on one sec. Put a little salt in there. I'm gonna put some vanilla extract in here. Very small amount though. Very tiny amount, you don't wanna. There, that's it. Now you just mix that together a little more. This is gonna be what I call the juggernaut of cocoa because I'm mixing two very high quality chocolate powders together. And if you want to get it, I like the Caltina on Amazon. It's very expensive. It was like $60. I don't know. I got it in Germany when I was vacationing in Germany. So it's obviously very expensive. Um, if you want to get it in the States, I guess this is going on Amazon, but it's very expensive. I guess I could send you some if you want some. This is good. It's unsweetened though, that's why you have to add sugar. But because you're using high quality chocolate powders, it's gonna be good cocoa. Now, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna add some water to this mixture here. Look at that, that nice brown color. That's like brown sand. That is awesome. Alrighty. I'm gonna turn, it's gonna go from sand, pretty much to mud. Watch this, add a little water. notice look how hydrophobic it is like the powder it's so dry that the water doesn't want to mix so it's like hydrophobic that is awesome that's crazy wow pretty cool Let me mix that a little bit and all this is mixing all right I gradually so the reason I'm doing it this the reason I am adding a little water um, is be 
because when I mix in milk, so it's like easier to mix. Because when, because the chocolate, the Hershey's powder is so dry, not necessarily the Caltina, but the Hershey's is so dry that I want to make it a little moist before I put it in the milk. Because it's, it's very dry. Even saying that is an understatement. Now it's, look at this. Look how awesome that is. It turned into this muddy, like beautiful dark chocolate, dark brown color. And it's very wet and moist. It's like Hershey's chocolate syrup practically. Maybe a little less thick, but kind of the same idea. Alrighty. Now we're very close to done. All we gotta do, heat a cup of milk up in the microwave. And while it's the cup of milk in the microwave is heating up, I'm just gonna mix this a little more. And we're good. And we're done. All right. Almost there, fam. Yeah. You probably heard an alarm. Uh, my dad is about to wake up. So, it's actually five in the morning. <laughs> but who cares? I'm, I'm off, It's I got a break, so. Can enjoy hot cocoa anytime. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I'm almost there. Just gotta. the chocolate syrup together. I mean, that does, that looks awesome. Holy shit, that was cool. Yeah, all right. I gotta eye the microwave a little bit because if you don't eye the microwave, see that's the microwave, if you don't, if you're not careful, the milk can actually boil over and you don't want that, so you gotta be careful. You don't want the milk to boil over, that's bad because it'll create a big mess in the microwave and it's a pain in the ass to clean up, so. I'm just eyeing it, making sure the milk doesn't boil over. If it boils over, you have to let it settle a little bit. So far, it's not really doing that. All right, if you want a, the recipe, I put a cocoa, I'm pretty sure I just told you, it's just one of the Hershey's, one tablespoon of the Hershey's one tablespoon of the Caltina, and one tablespoon of sugar with a pinch of salt, a little bit of vanilla extract, you mix that with water, mix that a little bit together, and then you heat milk in the microwave for two minutes, and yeah. And that's it. And you just mix the chocolate mixture with your milk, and then you're good. Alrighty. Right about there. Look at that. I want to see it being poured in. Here we go, buddy. And as you can see, it's my cup of joy. Alrighty. So, be careful here. Let me see if I can get a good angle. There we go. Bring that in. Nice. I'll get the rest in a minute, but watch this.
Yes! That is good, Coco. All right, fam, peace out. Hope you had some happy holidays, and that's the way you make cocoa. That's the finished product. I like brown color. All right, peace out, fam. Yeah, let's go.